So we're going to focus on models in which uh, wages don't respond to UI. Okay. Uh, So that's the first class of model that we're going to look at. And um, the reason we start with that is that actually, um, empirically, if you look at uh, what happens when UI goes up, actually, and you know, so you increase the employment insurance in the labor market, and you see, and you look at um, what happens to the wage uh, of workers who um, are employed in this labor market, the wage of workers who pick up new jobs in this labor market, what you notice is that Actually, the fact that UI is more generous has almost no effect on wages. So, in, real, in practice, we see um, we don't really see an effect of UI on wages. Although, you know, in theory, if wages came out of uh, bargaining, as we saw when we studied uh, bargaining uh, earlier in the course, through bargaining, it could be possible that uh, uh, wages would increase when UI increased, just because higher UI means higher outside option for workers. But in reality, it's not something we see. It looks like UI has almost no effect on wages. So we're going to start by looking at wages at model in which wages do not respond to UI, just because that seems to be um, the most realistic case. Okay, so that's the first thing. And second, you know, we have to uh, assume a shape of labor demand. Do we want it downward sloping? Do we want it horizontal? Uh, we are going to start with the downward sloping labor demand just because you know, we've argued that it's a more realistic shape for the labor demand which can capture a uh, lack of job in the economy. Uh, and in the case of UI, we see it as an other de desirable uh, and realistic properties. So we have wage that does not respond to UI plus you know uh, a concave production function. I.e. Uh, a downward sloping. So that's what we are going uh, to start with. So this would be, for instance, what happened in our uh, typical uh, matching model with job rationing, in which, um, of course, the production function is concave, and in addition, you know, wages are rigid. Uh, you know, they only depend on productivity a little bit, but they do not depend on UI. So an example, of, an example here of, of um, such a model would be uh, the matching model with job rationing. Okay, so let's start with that. What happens in that model? Okay, so let me uh, redraw our labor market diagram. Here we have the labor supply, spending data and UI. So then we have a labor demand. So here, notice that the labor demand does not depend on UI because um, usually the labor demand may depend on UI if wages respond to UI. But here we're focusing on models in which wages do not respond to UI, which seems to be what we see in the real world. So here the labor demand only depends on theta. Okay. And something that's important is to highlight actually the level of tightness here that we have. Okay. 
this is our equilibrium tightness, this is our initial equilibrium, and this is employment. All right, so now the question is, what happens if UI goes up? What will be the effects? So um, if UI goes up, we'll have um, to look at what happens to labor demand. But here, because we assume that labor demand doesn't depend on, on UI, labor demand remains the same. What happens to the labor supply? Well, if UI goes up, so UI becomes more generous, we know that um, people search less for jobs, um, so search effort is going to fall, and as a result, the labor supply is going to drop. That's because I would just have less job search effort. And so if you have less job search effort, um, you're going to see fewer matches. So the new labor uh, supply is going to look something like this once we reduce UI. Okay. That's our labor supply data with a new UI that we can call UI prime. Okay, so the labor supply has shifted inside. Okay, uh, so that's you know that's the main effect. That's what's going to happen. So now let's try to break down a little bit, you know, what's going to happen in the in the model, how the new equilibrium compares, and what are the things that are going on in the background. 